Snowdon is mountain number two. Getting to Snowdon from London was a train to Birmingham, a train to Bangor, and then after that, my friend Rob picked me up and we drove to the campsite. Snowdon via Cribgok, it's gonna be a good day. Wait, hang on, introductions first. This is Rob. We've been friends for 10 years, we live together at uni and have a shared obsession with the outdoors. We're getting up for sunrise so we put like five o'clock in the morning. Yes, we are. We've set up the tents in the dark and it's now half eight. <laughs> Can't really see you. Eh. Most of what you film is being wrong. No. Me doing random shit. What you don't want to discover at 5 a.m. in the morning is that you're 50p short for the car. Have park. we not got it? Uh, a, I don't think it'll accept five P's. A, B, that's still not enough. So, back on the road to find free car parking and then walk the lost ground. No one wants to see me put my socks on. I want to see it. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, that's a big bag for a high cut Snowden. And the answer to that is yes, it is. But there's a few things you should know about Rob. He lives by the seven P's. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Meaning this right here, this was an anomaly. But soon enough, we were on our way. Not too chatty. I'm less fit than you, so I'll do more listening than talking. The first part of food got quite steep, but there's not much exposure. It's like scrambly climbing, and then once we go onto the ridge, there's a good bit of exposure, especially on the right hand side. Exposure is a route that poses a large risk of a fall down steep terrain. I'm just gonna see if I've got some tea bags. It's got that flask of hot water, but we ain't got any an emergency tea bag. A Yorkshire tea bag. It might be a Yorkshire tea bag if we're lucky. No, I don't think I do. They say comparison is the thief of joy, but I find this hilarious. This is how Rob climbs a mountain, assured, smooth, and agile. Whereas this is how I scramble a mountain. <laughs> she just uses your, your hand to move your leg. How do you feel about Crib Gok, Louise? I think it's swell. Yeah. You know what? I'm jacked. <laughs> How do you feel? Shit. But it's really hard to see you. Then, before we knew it, we were at Crib Gok, which is this ridge right here. Oh, I'll, I'll never get wigged. Nah, it won't wig me out. Wigging it essentially means to lose your cool. Does this look like somebody who gets wigged out? I think not, but Rob does say that I look like a baby giraffe learning to walk when I scramble. And with a final nod of the head, we were done. Well done with the ridge. We still had to get to Snowdon. Right, let's go. let's go. Once we got there, it was pretty crowded, so we just touched the top and left. You know, you're going to be right, tell me. Now we're going back via the Watkin Path. This is the Watkin Path? Yeah, and then we're going to scramble down Eagle Ribbon. Snowden. Crib golf. That's Rob having a pee. Ready? Go to it. The only time in my entire life that I've ever seen Rob run was to see a helicopter. And I do really hope that whoever was in the helicopter is okay. You might be wondering to yourself, what do you and Rob talk about on your outdoor expeditions? I'll tell you. Well, no, I'll show you. You know that phrase, you should learn something new every day? On how to do a snorkel. Yeah. yeah. Right, so close one nostril, and then you've got to take a big breath. Yeah. And then exhale out of the open nostril. From snot rockets to tattoos. For context, I only ever get a tattoo if it's matching with a friend. I'll get a matching tattoo. I would 100% yeah. do that. If you get the altitude. Yeah. Of Mont Blanc. Somewhere where I can see it, but somewhere that I can also hide it. Okay. I can't wait. Okay, good. The noise from the road makes it impossible for you to hear about our political views. What, what a shame, eh? In terms of politics as well. And that is what we talked about on mountain number two. I woke up from my sleep, I'm hungry again. Did you sleep? Oh, you lucky devil. I told you I can sleep anytime, anywhere. That'll just smolder on the side there. Smolder is a good word. Although I feel like smolder represents a expression, like Happy now. <laughs> I've got a job for you, so. Okay, give me two minutes. 
Wait, can the job wait two minutes? Yes. Well, the longer you wait, the coffee goes cold. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> I'm out. So Rob's tent is like that. And mine's still up. What are you watching is usual. <laughs> it's not usual. I'm squared away and end up too. No, you told me to go get boiling water for coffee. So now I'm going to drink it. Watching me put down my tent after I've already made porridge, coffee. TRAD stands for traditional, and traditional climbing is where you place all the protection as you climb. Fairly easy multi-pitch, but I'm not good at climbing with stuff on my back, so I think it's graded very difficult, but in climbing terms, very difficult. It isn't very difficult. It looks beautiful. So now I need to find Rob, wherever he is. I'm gonna climb the direct route. There's some you people on it. Hey, 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 hey. There's some people on it already, because I was too slow. But it's okay, Rob, it's forgiven me. You okay? This single piece of gear costs about £50, so when it's jammed in the wall, you really don't want to leave it. But I had no choice. And with that non-success story, the trip was done. It was time to go home to not follow any of the very good life advice I've been given. I don't normally send voice notes, but this warrants a voice note. Right, I'm not going to say that you did everything that I told you not to do because you've done it now, so it doesn't matter. But moving forwards, focus on that which fills you up, not brings you down. So just think about the mountains. Well, those weren't his exact words, but they're the gist. Moving on to mountain number three.